Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, honored to be here. My name is Kevin Acklin, Chief of Staff uh, for Mayor uh, Bill Peduto. Um, you know, just looking at the last two years uh, when we took office here, one of the biggest challenges we had was uh, making sure that the residents of the city had uh, the type of government that was responsive, uh, deserving of the character and the efforts of the people of Pittsburgh. And, you know, when, when the mayor uh, hired all of us, he challenged us to, you know, improve technology in the city, improve our services, uh, really to keep the city competitive. If you think about what a city government is, it's it's the social compact. People pay taxes and they live in the city and they expect a high degree and level of services. And uh, that takes a lot of coordination amongst different departments. And the, the nerve center and the brain power uh, that runs all that are, is happens up here on the sixth floor uh, in our de Department of Innovation and Performance. And so today, on March 11th, 311 Day, uh, we're very pleased uh, to make an announcement uh, of some significant advancements and improvements in our 311 response center. 311 is, uh, is an innovation that happened years ago uh, that is sort of a single stop shop for anybody, uh, a resident of the city who had an issue or wanted a, a comment or had a, a service that they needed, you could dial 311 and that would connect you to a single source center uh, that would uh, ultimately uh, you know, be directed to the right department uh, to, again, get to get that type of service. So uh, today we're, we've made some significant in investments over the last two years. Uh, we're launching uh, the new customer relationship management software uh, here at 311. I'll be uh, sh very shortly introducing uh, Chief Lamb, Deborah Lamb, our Chief and Director of Innovation and Performance, uh, to talk about the details. But basically uh, what this will allow is for better coordination and responsiveness when, when residents are, again, who are making uh, uh, suggestions or, or calling for services? Uh, it allows for better co coordination, uh, you know, among city departments. Uh, it transitions from three separate databases to one. It allows for better mapping and geo routing, uh, better feedback and responses among city departments. Integration with Allegheny County, a very strong relationship that we have between the mayor and the county executive. Uh, you know, we we launched the open data uh, portal uh, last year and have been building and, and working very closely with the county executive. None of this happens without that type of partnership and leadership uh, between the mayor and the county executive. And, and today's announcement is the fruit of that partnership as well. Uh, for workers in the Department of Public Works, PLI, which used to be BBI, permits, licenses, and inspections, uh, the, the police bureau, so public safety as well, uh, will be you know pulled into the new system uh, for Works, workers there who commonly respond to 311 requests to the new system, it'll link multiple, multiple requests to the same issue. So an example, uh, under the old system years ago, uh, if residents called about a pothole on a street in the neighborhood, each one of those requests was submitted and none of those were tied together. So you might have 15 requests about the same pothole and each one of those sort of went through the sausage making factory of the city and were responded to uh, uh, singularly. So you had 13 requests for the same. The, now they're all being, again, uh, uh, collated uh, under this new software system. So when people are calling about a problem, it's problem, it's geocentric, not based on the call itself. So again, that's efficiency, not only in allowing for more efficient allocation of government resources and human capital, but a better response time uh, to the residents, which again is what we're here to do. So. Uh, with that, I'd like to uh, call to the podium uh, Chief Lamb, who, again, who is uh, the, the head of the ship in terms of guiding us, uh, you know, with, with building out the nerve center of the city on behalf of the mayor. And I appreciate uh, all her hard work. And, uh, and so, Chief, if you can take us from here. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say a few words. Um, first, happy 311 day on this very auspicious day. Uh, we just are, are really proud of what the team has done so far. And there's just been so much progress that has been made on behalf of the Mayor Peduto's leadership in terms of guidance. 311 has always had a special place in his heart. Um, and the reason why is because at the end of the day, 311 is your first point of contact for non-all non emergency services. Um, we have been very cognizant of asking one question around 311. And our 311 manager, Wendy Urbanic, says it quite well, is how can we, as a city, provide top customer service? 
Um, and we've been phasing this accordingly. Um, the first thing that, that we've done uh, the, uh, upon entering office is that we expanded our hours. So we went from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., five days of work, knowing that you know, residents of the city of Pittsburgh don't stop at 4.30 or 2 p.m., et cetera. We wanted to really make that accessible. Um, and then we started providing other means to contact 311. So if you are not able to call us during that time, you can email us, you can tweet at us, you can look at different communication technologies to engage with us. Um, and we also started building up the team in order to provide that training, um, in order to facilitate that top customer service. But ultimately, those uh, were small wins, um, very critical wins, but nothing um, to the same extent in this new phase um, where we really are putting in an integrated software of customer relation management along with a mobile device. Um, and this could not have been done without the leadership of Wendy Urbanic. Um, she's been critical um, in this as our 311 manager um, in guiding the team and um, making sure that as we continue to grow, um, we retain the core of our mission, which is to provide top customer service. Um, you'll look at the stats later on, which Wendy will share with you, but it's amazing in terms of how our small team has, has risen and we've been very competitive in terms of our service compared to other cities, much bigger cities, uh, much bigger 311 teams across the country. Um, and it's, it's a true testament um, to Wendy and the team's hard work, um, as well as um, the transformation of the power of the 311 data. Uh, Chief Ackland earlier talked about um, our very strong relationship with uh, Allegheny County and uh, the Regional Data Center. Um, 311 data is now updated on an hourly basis at the, through the Regional Data Center. So at any point when you go to the regional data center, you can see where the data is coming from and see its application. And this is a credit to our analytics and strategy team um, and also seeing what you could do with that data um, to continue to evolve and continue to provide top customer service. Um, so without further ado, Wendy Urbanek. Thank you. All right, everyone, happy 311 day. And let me just begin with a thank you to Mayor Bill Pedito for making this day possible. We've waited a long time. I have to say I'm very proud to work with a mayor who has such a strong commitment to customer service. I'd also like to thank Chief Kevin Acklin for the great leadership and dedicated working group who drove this process. And a third big thank you to Chief Deborah Lamb for allowing us to fully utilize the amazing talent of all of our IMP colleagues. Last but not least, a special shout out to my 311 team. It's led by Jacob Minton and Naomi Johnson. And I have to say, I work with the, the finest group of professionals who have a serious commitment to customer service. They are the epitome of customer service. Most of the time, they're the first point of contact for people who are calling this city, and they always make us proud. It wouldn't be Pittsburgh if we didn't make folks feel welcome. And it wouldn't be 311 day if we didn't share our mantra, which is 311 rocks. As you can see, business has been booming. The first graph shows our call volume. And from 2013, it's actually increased by 56%. We took over 94,000 calls last year. Uh, during 2015, we also processed over 84,000 service requests which is more than, than double what we took in in 2013. While doing this, we've maintained a very low abandonment rate, less than 1%. The industry standard is usually 5%. And our average time to answer a call is only 16 seconds. So it's very easy to contact us. So the process we were using involved the customer contacting 311. Our operator would enter that information into the database but it involved a lot of research. So if the call was regarding a pothole, DPW has six different street maintenance divisions and they're located geographically. So we had a, a big manual called our Book of Streets that we would have to look for for every single request to determine exactly where we needed to route it. Uh, environmental services, they have four different working zones and our police have six zones. So every request would have to be looked up geographically 
In addition, a lot of times we needed ownership information if it, the call was regarding private property. If it ended up being city property, instead of sending it to PLI, we could shorten the process by sending it directly to our contractor. So once we did all that research, it would finally make it to the clerk. The clerk would be printing this off, and the picture in the middle there is probably during a pothole blitz. <laughs> the clerks would pull the papers off as fast as we could send them. At the same time, they have all the crews gathering up their completed requests so the clerk can enter that information back through the system. Once the clerk finally gets around to the data entry, because they have multiple other duties as well, it would come back to 311 and that was the end of it. We had no resources to be able to contact people to let them know the status of their request. Our current system is much more streamlined. Folks submit their request, it is automatically routed to the proper department, and our citizens are notified right away via text, email, or even a phone call. So the system we have is called QAlert, and this is our customer relationship management software. And we're really excited about it, it has a ton of nice features. Uh, first of all, the web interface allows customers to create individual accounts so they can track requests they've submitted. Uh, we get some very dedicated uh, citizens who submit requests on a regular basis, and it makes it so easy for them to see the status of everything they've put in. There's also a corresponding responder app that allows our crews in the field to receive and complete requests in real time. So theoretically, our requests can go directly from the computer to the exact truck that's patching the pothole. Uh, our, our software includes mapping layers of everything we've ever dreamed of, the DPW divisions, police zones, the water service areas, council districts. It's all built into the system. And the, the cherry on the top probably is our knowledge base. Uh, our previous knowledge base was called sticky notes. <laughs> and if you ever saw our office, all the cubicles are covered with them. That's all we had. Now we have a knowledge base built into the software that provides employees and citizens with easily searchable municipal information. So some of the benefits for citizens, as I mentioned already, being able to create an account and promote that engagement is, is critical for us. Uh, the customers are now going to get frequent updates. As you can see from the screen, they can create an account there. You can also skip that and submit requests anonymously still, if that's your preference. Uh, the citizen has access to the mapping feature, so if they don't have an exact address, maybe it's a vacant lot, maybe they're in the middle of Frick Park, they can just use a pin to show where the issue is. And again, they have the ability to choose whichever response method works for them, whether they want to call, a text, or an email. And another one of our favorite parts is you can easily attach pictures or PDFs to this system, and they stay with the request the entire length of it. Our responders are loving it because instead of 47 million sheets of paper, they can, they can map out their requests. So maybe this is their potholes for the day. They can easily plan an efficient route to get to all of them without backtracking. And one of their biggest complaints was duplicate requests. As uh, Chief Acklin mentioned, sometimes we'd be sending 15 requests through for the same pothole. But we couldn't avoid that because we needed all the customers to have a response on each individual request. Now they're linked, so all we have to do is write the current status on the, the parent request and all of the other requests get that same information. Uh, my 311 team is loving it. First off, it, it autofills the contact information, so our regular customers call in, we start typing their name, all of their information fills, including their notification preferences. And also it's integrated with the county real estate website, we just touch a pin and that information comes up at our fingertips. It lets us know the property owner, if they're back in taxes, any other relevant information we might need to properly process that request. And one of our biggest uh, pride and joys at 311 is our Twitter account. If you're not a follower, I would highly recommend. Our handle is at PGH311. Uh, we currently have over 7,000 followers, and Twitter has proved as a very cost-efficient method to process requests. Um, it's fast, it's quick, it's easy, and our residents are loving it. So we don't have this capability now, but within the next month, we're actually going to have our Twitter feed integrated with our CRM software. So it'll make it even easier to enter those requests and make sure our customers are getting back their, their service request ID numbers. 
and then our knowledge base. You can access this now on the city website and it's gonna promote self-service. That'll cut down on some of the calls we get. If you can look up the information yourself, maybe you wanna know what parks have an off-leash uh, exercise area. That information will be at your fingertips. Um, at the bottom, it highlights popular articles. So if there's something big that, that you're looking for, chances are it'll be right there for easy access. And finally, our crown jewel, our new phone app. It's taken a long time, but MyBerg is finally here to connect citizens to city services. Uh, the, the buttons on the app, you'll probably see them change seasonally, although right now we have the snow plow tracker and the snow resource buttons. As you can imagine, we are very anxious to replace those with the spring city park schedules. Um, it gives you even easier access to 311. There's a button to call us and there's a button to submit a service request right through that app. Uh, we also hooked up with the city social media and newsfeed, so you'll have easy access to those. And then one of our most popular request types stems around refuse pickup. Um, we've connected to pgh.st. So if you push that button and type in your address, it will not only tell you when your garbage pickup day is, it will let you know if it's your recyclable week, and it also can uh, notify you, give you a reminder if you'd like to put your trash out the night before. So some of the highlights of MyBerg, it automatically captures your location, uh, or if you prefer to type it in, you have that option as well. The issues on the phone app mirror the issues on the website. So if you're familiar with the website, the transition to the mobile app will be really easy for you. And as you can see, it lists your requests. So again, you have easy access to see what the current statuses are. Uh, one of my other favorite things about this is it captures the pictures and attaches them so easily. Um, so that's another highlight. But we're really excited about all of this uh, new technology. And we're encouraging everyone to use it to contact us. Uh, first of all, create an online account. Download our mobile app. It's available right now on, uh, at Google and Apple or call and text us.